education goes beyond just to the Dickinson County Nature Center to other county parks and areas that the Dickinson County Conservation Board runs, including the Abbey Gardner Cabin and Museum in Arnold's Park, which we manage in an agreement with the State Historical Society of Iowa. So each summer you can come on down to the Abbey Gardner Cabin and Museum to learn some of the history of the Okaboji area. So Abby Gardner and her family moved to the Spirit Lake area right here on West Lake Okaboji in the winter of 1856 to 1857. Now it was a really rough winter both for the settlers as well as for the native peoples here and it had built up between there was you know misunderstandings and conflicts between the European settlers and native peoples and it led up to one day in March where the Wapakuti Band of Indians under the leadership of Ink Baduda came and uh, due to some of those misunderstandings there was a massacre of all of the settlers in the area. During that horrible incident where parties on both sides were injured and killed, Abby Gardner was taken captive. Now she lived with the Ink Badudas band for about three months before she was ransomed back to the Minnesota government at that time. Now she left and then came back later in her life and purchased the property that her family had originally had and she started her own cabin and museum recalling what she had gone through and some of the history of the area. Well, that is still here. So you can come to a museum and you can learn some of the history of the native peoples who were here before European settlement. You can learn the story of the Spirit Lake Massacre, some of the things that led up to it, as well as what happened during that incident. You can learn about Abby's captivity, as well as, that, as a little bit about Abby's life after she was ransomed back to the government and how she started a family and came back to the Spirit Lake area to create her own museum. Also here you can head out and you can check out the actual cabin where Abby Gardner and her family lived. It's only a 17 by 23 foot cabin and at one point they had more than 10 people living there between Abby's family, her sister's family that was also living with them for that winter, as well as a couple of gentlemen that they had living with them while people were building houses. So if you love history, come on down, check out the Abbey Gardner Cabin and Museum, check out the actual cabin. You can also see the Gardner family gravesite as well as the Spirit Lake Massacre monument outside. This is a great place to come delve a little deeper into the history of the Okaboji area.